Now let's quickly compare the solution which I have built and the solution which ChatGPT gave. The ChatGPT solution looks more cleaner to me at least. Uh, can ChatGPT or other Gen AI models take away your job? We all have heard so much about Gen AI, specifically ChatGPT in the last few months that this thought does come to our mind. Recently, a lot of other Gen AI models have come up in the market with crazy abilities to complete tasks which were considered impossible few years back. Today, we are releasing our newest flagship model. This is GPT-4.0. We want everyone to benefit from what Gemini can do. So we have worked quickly to share these advances with all of you. Today, more than 1.5 million developers use Gemini models across our tools. This looks crazy and scary at the same time. So can it take away a data engineer job? Can it write perfect SQL queries? Can it solve hard level SQL problems? So I decided to put the model to the test. I straight away opened Data Lemur, which is my preferred platform for SQL solving, and I picked a hard level SQL question. I copied the problem statement and gave it to ChatGPT. Before that, I know a little bit of prompt engineering, so I set the context right. Hi, you are an SQL expert who excels in writing SQL queries. Do you understand? And ChatGPT, of course, it understands. It understands so many things that it makes me crazy. I will give you a SQL problem statement and I want you to write SQL query to get the result. Do you understand? And of course it understands. Now I will just paste the complete problem statement and let's see what is the output. And you see, instantly without even giving it a thought, it starts writing SQL queries. So if you are a SQL beginner, I will say don't follow this approach. You are not chat GPT. You have to read through the SQL question properly and then write it. So I can see it has already given me SQL query. It has also explained it. So let me copy the code now and I'll switch to data Lemur and I'll paste the SQL query given by chat GPT and let me run this. Boom. What? It failed. The query failed. There is a syntax error in the SQL query. Should I stop my test here and feel that yes, we are good. Our jobs are safe. Let me give it another try. Can you give me the SQL query that is compatible with PostgreSQL 14? Because you see the data level runs the queries in PostgreSQL 14. So I'm just trying to help ChatGPT get the right answer. So it has given me a SQL query again. And this time it is telling me that, okay, extract function is used in PostgreSQL. So let me copy the updated query and run it now. Wow, I'm getting the output. So let me submit this solution and see if this is the right answer or not. Whoa, the answer is correct. It is accepted. So what should I say now? Now let me try this query. Now chat GPT has obviously solved this question. I want to give it a try that if I have to solve this SQL query, how much time I will take? Of course, there are some biasness because I already have gone through the question. I understand the question. And I have a hint about the solution as well because I have seen what the output chat GPT has given. The solution was accepted. So in my case, I do have a lot of favor. But starting from scratch, I already know the question. 
I already know the answer. I also already know a SQL solution for me. But here I'm not going to repeat what ChatGPT has already given me. So this is my solution. I don't want to copy ChatGPT solution. Here I will be using two windows function. So we have to identify the repeated payments on the basis of three columns. I don't want to do group by, I don't want to do any aggregation. I just want to compare my current line with the previous line. And provided that I have more than one line. When I say one line, I mean group of merchant ID, credit ID, card ID and amount. So if there are multiple transactions with same value for these three columns, I want it to be a part of the same group. Hence, I'm using Windows function. If you know SQL pattern system, I've already explained you that uh, you can use window functions to compare the previous line with the current line. So this is exactly what I'm doing here. I'm generating a previous timestamp and I'll compare my previous timestamp to the current timestamp. Uh, so I'll compare the previous timestamp with the current transaction timestamp to see if that transaction happens within 10 minutes. So I'll make everything as a CT and then I'll just apply the filter conditions where I'll subtract the two timestamp. And uh, I will also add additional query on my second uh, window function, which was for rank, because at the end of the question, it was mentioned that you should not, you should not consider the row if it is the very first row. Only the second row should be considered as a duplicate and should be reported. One thing is clear, I have to work on my typing speed I think I can definitely improve there. So I think my query is ready. Let me run the code. The answer is same exactly what I was expecting. Let me submit it. And yes, it is expect. So the answer is correct. And it took me more than three minutes to solve this SQL query. I don't want to come to the conclusion that chat GPT will replace our jobs. Okay. Now let's quickly compare the solution which I have built and the solution which ChatGPT gave. And then maybe we can try to learn something from the solution given by ChatGPT. So I have copied the solution given by ChatGPT. I'll paste it in my Visual Studio code. And now let's put both the code next to each other so that we can compare. Let me set the font size. So what you see on the left side is the code given by ChatGPT. And on the right side is the code which I have written. And now just by looking at the code, I see that the ChatGPT code looks more formatted, looks more clean. But we can anyways format the code on the right side. So I'll not comment on the formatting for now. But yeah, the chat GPT solution looks more cleaner to me at least uh, than my code. And uh, these differences are not many, but I can see I have used window functions, whereas chat GPT is using a self join. So they have used transaction stable twice doing a self join uh, on the three columns and then adding the conditions. So I have used two window functions. Chat GPT prefers to use self join. And it totally depends on the end user, like the data engineers who are writing SQL queries, whether they are comfortable in writing window functions or they are comfortable in writing self joins. Personally, I felt at that moment, window functions was the easier solution. So I went ahead with that, but it is totally up to you. So what do you think? Do you think the sooner or later the chat GPT or other models can replace us writing SQL queries?